Tuber Nation, I'm back. Hi peeps, uh, how's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing fine and uh, thank you for coming back. Hope you've checked out the other ones. So today we're gonna go back to gaming, back to gaming, it has to be. So what do I want to tell you about today is like, uh, it's directly uh, connected to um, Twitch and YouTube and it's keep producing uh, content for a game that has peaked. A few examples, For Honor, uh, even the battlefields. So we're talking about games that usually have uh, 20 to 1,000 people watching on, uh, on all of Twitch and you still get like some wicked ass nice compilations over uh, YouTube or YouTube gaming somebody streaming it um, so these games have peaked like usually what what, what happens is in, a new game comes out everybody's gonna play it everybody's gonna stream it everybody wants to know how the game is so they check the, the streams they check uh, YouTube clips all that stuff <clears throat> and the game peaks so the game it's its highest um, player base its highest um, social media push all that stuff uh, unless it's something like uh, PUBG that keeps growing or Fortnite or, or the Battle Royale games basically nowadays or, or even LOL and all the other MOBAs uh, Counter-Strike it, it, th those games are really uh, standouts from the normal game cycle the normal game life cycle especially in social media especially in uh, online content although it's funny because there's a there's a there's a uh, TV uh, channel here in Portugal it's called GT and man do they have some lag <laughs> it's like they're promoting games 6 to 12 months after it comes out like playing gameplay and I was like I currently work with TV, so I I gotta watch a little bit of the content, or at least I know what they're showing. And it was always like every single time it was in on on one of the screens at the at the office, I was just left to myself. I know everybody would start looking at me like like funny, because why the hell are they promoting Mortal Kombat Seven uh, like last year? Like what? <laughs> you know where? way past that or, or oh no Super Mario yay what what Super Mario World oh what oh you're still in the Wii all right you know there's uh, other consoles besides that one already and the Wii is uh, kind of dying whatever <laughs> a little rant but so the games have a, have a life cycle and uh, online content producing and it's normal you uh, nowadays you want the new stuff you want the hot stuff you want to play the cool stuff like where where are all the kids at Fortnite Fortnite <laughs> at this point in time let let me record it that on uh, the 27 of June 2011 the game that rocked the charts was Fortnite with Ninja there you go a little mark for for the future but yeah you you gotta play the hype game right you gotta you gotta feel the hype you where where the big player base is unless it's a single player but most most uh, most most challenging games are multiplayer or most viewed games are multiplayer because that's that's the human decision factor the human challenge factor and um, where was I going with this? Damn, I lost my thought. I lost my thought. So yeah, the game life cycle. So games peak, and then they slowly start to die until nobody ever streams them, nobody ever produces any more content about them until that little moment that they become retro. <laughs> like Spyro the Dragon. Content producing wasn't a thing back then, so the hype was probably all the um, magazines and how cool the game looked and talking about your friends about it playing playing the game it 
hey, I know Spire of the Dragon is not for everybody, but, but let's keep with it. And now, a few years later, it's a retro game. So you can actually still see somebody playing it on Twitch, or you can get some YouTube uh, clip about it, because it finally progressed into that status of retro gaming. And you know retro gaming is always cool, right? That's why you keep playing that Pokemon Red uh, in, uh, in the toilet. I know. I know. Gotta catch them, you too. Gotta catch them all. So... Why am I talking about this? Because I, this, I do this differently. I, I try to stay away from super hype games first because I'm a small streamer. I'm a small YouTuber, so the chances of you finding my content are very slim, just like this podcast, are very slim. I'll probably have to market the hell out of it, really push it, really push it down your throat so you can find it. And on Twitch, it's easier to play like mid-level games. Usually everybody falls to, to a Skyrim, everybody falls back to a, a Fallout, all, all those like... They were big, they're still big, there's still an active community about it, and there's not one huge massive streamer playing it, or if you open the game tab, you're not gonna have to scroll 10 times to find small streamers. They're probably like their front page, mid to small streamers, and that's, that's my view of it, and that's what I'm gonna keep doing, and that's why usually I'm doing uh, either Battlefields or For Honor or some other non super viewed game because there there's something if you don't know this about me you should I play what I want when I want because I want and I stream because I want to have fun with you guys I stream because I play games so and I want you guys to see it and uh, having the community there really really makes the game even more interesting and more challenging and you, you gotta perform right and um, I really don't care about being completely lost in a thousand scroll page and being hard to find. That's that's not my goal for Twitch. I really want my content to be out there. I really want my content to be seen. So that's why, I, for example, people have told me about it. Why do you keep playing uh, For Honor? The game is ultra dead. No, there's still an active community out there. There are still, it's like a niche game. You gotta find your niche. You gotta find your, your game. And um, you gotta find that, that balance in between. You really enjoy playing the game. You take fun out of doing it. And there's a really good community out there. There are still a lot of players playing it that want to see somebody playing it or want to play with uh, others. And nowadays, nowadays I honestly think if you want to find somebody to play a game with online, very honestly, find a small streamer. Find that game you like, find a small streamer, engage in his community, engage in his uh, stream. And most of the, the ones that I've known and I've seen, I'm going to say like 80% will instantly, instantly invite you to play with them, to join their game session, to, to fight you in the game, to do whatever the game needs uh, doing with them. So if you really want to play something, you don't have nobody to play it, go there. Go go to Twitch, find a small streamer. They're always there, they're always on. Somebody will be streaming your game, almost for sure. Uh, I'm currently doing For Honor, I really enjoy the game. I uh, really enjoyed Chivalry back in the day, uh, although this is kind of different, but kind of the same. And uh, if you like Foreigner, you stop by, join me. I, as you know, I enjoy the hell of team play, proper team play, and uh, taking those wins. And since it was like it was just re released for one week for free, so you could get get the game for free, it would be yours. It, of course, we're talking about the Star Edition, but it will be yours for free, forever. So the game has gotten like a little pushback. New players coming into the game that never played it. So it's getting like a little revival. And I can notice that in the player base, like, Dominion is 
it's easily to you, you can easily get into a freaking multiplayer nowadays you don't have to wait that much but uh, I can talk about other ones like the division I never played it or destiny 2 I never played it and those games especially destiny <laughs> it's peaked hard and uh, it's crashing down um, the division at its high time the game is now passed by the division 2 is coming out this year I think and uh, I recently started playing and started streaming the game and I figured out uh, I rather enjoy the game it's it's a shooter uh, it's a third-person shooter and with the story based around it co-op I know it's a super grindy game whatever but there's still a niche community uh, behind it there's a lot of players that still play the game so you can go online and you're gonna find other players and in, uh, in local lobbies and online lobbies and all that stuff so they're out there they're, they want to see the game they want to play with you um, so keep that in mind and it's it's a it's a funny thing I actually never never uh, thought about it until a few months ago when I actually started doing it and yeah you're not gonna be the hippest kid in the in the in the hood you're not gonna be top paging every steam stream uh, uh, game or you're not gonna be number one in everywhere but there's there's growth there there's communities there just be aware of the game changes you do like for me I, I always feel the, the hurt because uh, of course if one day I stream for honor if one day I stream for honor and the other one uh, I stream, I stream battlefield uh, they're not the same game not even close uh, but for example if I would swap from um, let's say the division to GTA the style is there the the gameplay is kind of similar you know so um, the new viewer base that I acquired by playing the division could come back to watch me play GTA you know although the new viewer base that I uh, acquired while playing uh, for honor uh, they're probably not gonna have a uh, big interest in seeing me doing crazy headshots or, or sneaky plays on battlefield so be aware of it be be mindful of it I do it because <laughs> I'm just I'm just me that's it again I play games because I like them I'll do it for the lulls and I try to entertain you the best I can so yeah that's it that's it just uh, a little two cents about games that have peaked uh, small niche communities there's there's a lot of them out there go find them go play them see if they fit your style see if the, you, you get pleasure out of it this this was probably most most uh, mostly for for small streamers but if you like watching small streamers and uh, if you like your your niche game or you think your game has peaked and you're not gonna find somebody to play with it go check out twitch there's probably somebody streaming it probably and you don't need twitch you, you got, if you don't like twitch there's other there's YouTube live streams there's a mixer there's a lot of options nowadays so as always no excuses go go do that Google go find your your teammates your playmates your whatever you need to to get your freak on and uh, enjoy the games basically that's it just don't don't fall for the freaking pressure of the hype game not everybody needs to be an awesome Fortnite streamer not everybody needs to be the top dog at Fortnite and honestly you won't be <laughs> uh, mostly most most people will not be and uh, but I feel I feel I feel uh, how, how the system works and I understand it and that's it super nation I'm out peace have a nice day <laughs>